Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba Satellite L55W-C5202S That's again Toshiba Satellite L55W-C5202S And in this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can upgrade the RAM and what's, how you can find out what's your maximum RAM capacity on this one. People keep asking me on their website, the manual, it keeps telling me 8 gig, 16 gig. So people, are, they still don't know what's the maximum capacity. I have made a video, I'll leave that link in the video description. There's a, you don't need any programs or anything, just a simple line, you can type that inside the windows and it will tell you your maximum RAM capacity. So before you guys keep asking me how much RAM I can put, Check that video, it's one minute long, so I don't want to cover that video in this one. Check that one out and you will find out your maximum RAM capacity. And based on that, this one already comes with a 16 gig, we already upgraded. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how to open it up, how to access those RAMs, how you can replace it and put them back or remove them. But if you want to know how much RAM you can have, check the video that I made and it shows you for any laptop, any PC, how much RAM you can have. All right, with all that said, now we're gonna go ahead and open it up. The tools that you're gonna be needing, it's a screwdriver set. We're gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set. Uh, this screw set, they have the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel, that means they're really tough and steel. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And if you wanna get the pro version, I'll leave the link in my video description. You can get the pro version, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you don't, just get the sample pack and grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers, electronics, and cases. With this on hand, we're going to proceed. We're going to power off the laptop, make sure completely off. We're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. There are two different colors here. The black colors, which are at the back end right here. And the chrome colors, which is all over the place. The screws, the size for the chrome colors, they're all the same size and height. And the black ones are the same, the same size and height. So keep them in a different pile just for the color coordination. Also, if you guys want to support the channel and if you like my content, if my content helping you guys out, you can support me by clicking that like and subscribing to my channel. I'll really appreciate it. It will be a great support for me to make more videos, take your requests from you guys or answer your comments. I'm attaching a little magnet here so it makes it easy to pull the screws out. I don't want to magnetize the tape because it's not always I need it. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now we're going to open up the laptop a little bit. Just, you can open the whole thing if you have enough space. We're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, between the palm rest and the case on the bottom. Just squeeze it in there within one, two or three millimeters. And then you just want to twist it and you want to hear some click. That's what you want to hear. You want to do that all in the front end of the laptop. Go to the side all the way to the back corner gently. And twist them up. And go to the back corner on this side too. Once you little got a little gap opened up, you want to put it back down. Grab it the front end and bring it up and wiggle it around. Pull it up. And it's gonna release the back end up by itself. Just bring it up, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. And you just wanna push it towards the HDMI port here so you can release these buttons right here. On off switch. Alright, once we are down here, we can see the RAMs is right over here. These are under little heat dissipator papers. You can rip these ones apart if you want, but or we'll leave them on. I'm just gonna leave it, I'm just gonna bend it over like this so you can, can see it the rams is right here and the other one is right over here to remove the rams all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other and the ram will come out again before we continue people panic they're like you must disconnect the battery to do this service you do not need to remove the battery to do a hard drive upgrade which i have already made a video for that or ram upgrade or change your wi-fi board anything like that you will remove the battery if you want to do a repaste or you want to do something else. You could remove the battery for those. All right, if you want to remove it, just pull this cable back and the jack will get disconnected. Anyway, to remove the uh, to remove the RAM, 
All right, to remove the RAM, just pull these two triggers away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And all you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same direction that it came out in a 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it up towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the RAM or the DIMM. Just slide it back outward. And if you got the new RAM, this one is uh, 8 gig, so we have an 8 gig and 8 gig. So you have a 16 gig RAM in here. So make sure the orientation for the RAM is really important. The cut on the RAM has to match the notch right on the RAM DIMM. So if you try to put it that way around, it will not go through. So you have to put it this way in, in 45 degree angle. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. And you should hear these two triggers clicking. Just like that. So that one is over there. Same thing with the second one. You want to remove it, pull these two triggers away from each other, pull the RAM out. Again, this is an 8 gig. Put it right in here, slide it towards the DIMM, and then towards the motherboard. And you should hear those clicks. There we go. Again, sometimes it happens with the motherboards. Once you do an upgrade for the RAM, not always at the initial boot, you want to get the screen. So sometimes you have to open it up and switch the places, uh, just switch them apart and turn it back on and give it five to 10 seconds and it will detect. Also, I went already ripped this one up. So yeah. So if you have disconnected battery, plug that back in, grab the bottom cover, bring it on and first scoop down the HDMI port in and then bring the rest you squeeze the front end on the side, being to the corner back. Now you want to pinch the top, the end, the, this one, so you see that gap right there open. So I'm going to pinch them so it locks in. Just pinch it gently, not too hard. There we go. Once you have those pinched, and you can open it up a little bit. And if you see any more gaps in the front end, just pinch them together, the top and the bottom cover, and it should go back in its place. So I'm gonna turn on the laptop after I put the screws back in. I'm just gonna put the screws at the back end here, on the back row. So those are for the hinges, and I'll probably put one in the middle only. And then I can come back at the end and put the rest of the screws, because sometimes people keep telling me, why don't you turn it on? So why don't you show us? So I'm just gonna show it to you guys that it works. Let me get my charger. There we go. So I don't know if it has any charge on it or no. There's a charger port. So let's go turn it on and see if I get any screen. I don't know what's for the BIOS is F1, F2. So I'm just gonna tap on both. And I should get to the BIOS. If not, I will get to the Windows. I think I have to hold on it. But I'm getting Toshiba, I'm getting to the window, so I just skip the BIOS key. I probably had to press function F12, F2. Well, yeah, there you go, the RAM is working. I'm in there, so I can go control the so task manager. And in there, I have my RAM, which is 16 gig RAM right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, I hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys out. And if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.